I don't want to go back to bed. Didn't I say that yesterday? I didn't go back to bed. Well, I'm not going back to bed today. Oh, wow. Three, two, one. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Today is Tuesday, July 14th. And this is my first cup of coffee. Ooh, it's steamy. Uh, there's a cat. You can see the top of the cat right here. That's a cat head. There. You got the ears. I can probably tilt this down just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> she tried to sit in my spot this morning and I told her no. So I moved her over here and she complained about it, but she seems to tolerate it right now. My co-host, the cat. She doesn't help. She doesn't do anything for the show. She just sits there. A lot of daytime shows. Not just daytime. A lot of talk shows. A lot of people just sit there. They don't do much. Hmm. Well, what was Monday? I had some good work on Monday. You know, one of the things that I'm working on is all these programs. And, you know, I vow that I'm going to keep making them better. And the, the versions that I put out keep getting better. That's not what I mean to say. Each new program I work on goes better. So this new one, the fight conditioning, a couple of people have looked at it. And I got some feedback from the second person yesterday. And they said that everything they had was like nitpicky formatting or uh, typos or grammar, things like that. No questions on the concepts, no questions on the way it was presented, which was pretty darn good. That or I've picked the wrong people to review it, but I don't think so. And so while I was waiting on that feedback, I finally figured out um, how to proceed. So the, th the first two programs that we did were the strength program and the speed program. And after I finished them, I knew there would be people who would want to bug people who would want to combine them. But the way they're written, it's gonna be really hard to combine them without, you can't just take the two things that are there and just do both of them, it's not gonna work well. The strength stuff will end up fine, but oh, you won't get the full benefit on the speed program if you do it that way. So I knew I wanted to combine the two and I've, been, I've spent a lot of time thinking about that. How am I going to put those two together? And I finally figured it out yesterday. I finally came up with a concept that works. So, took a bunch of notes on that and start chipping away there. What else happened? Client meeting, client work, went to the gym, cooked food, watched TV. What was it? Wasn't a wasn't a complicated day. Pretty standard day. What's going on today? Um, I have a podcast interview. Oh, you know the other thing we did yesterday? I released the video of the advice for schools on COVID nineteen and surviving. That came out on YouTube last night. So that's out now. Uh, podcast, yeah. oh, pardon me. Podcast interview. I think the cat's getting acupuncture this morning. There's something else going on in there too. I don't even remember. <laughs> My life's pretty straightforward. I've got some, some meetings, and then in between the meetings, I do as much work as I can. <sighs> it's 
It's going to be a hard day to be productive with the rain. But I'll get it done. My plants have pretty well come back from the initial shock of it being so hot when I put them outside. Everything else is, is going well outside. Wasn't it? Tomatoes and tomatillos and peas. The peas are going nuts. I got more kale than I know what to do with. Yeah. Well, I think it's time to see what you all wrote in. Remember, the more people who write stuff in for me to talk about, the more fun it is. Maybe not for you, but definitely for me. I appreciate the variety, the different perspectives. And all I have to do is drop a comment below. Inbox. There we go. Today we've got stuff from Frank. Thank you, Frank. Persistence is the twin sister of excellence. One is a matter of quality, the other a matter of time. Persistence is the twin sister of excellence. And they go hand in hand. If you want to get better at something, you have to do it frequently. If you want to get better at martial arts, you need to train frequently. Doesn't mean you need to train four hours at a time, but you need to train frequently. This is why we have two minute martial arts. This is why we have all the different things that we do. It's why we do this show every weekday. It's why martial arts radio is twice a week for, for over five years. You know, we, we, we get better at the things that we do often. And if something's important to you, find an opportunity to do it often and you will get better at it. If you look at the things in your life, that you are worst at, or want to most want to improve, there's a good chance that you have not been doing them frequently. You can change that. Persistence is not stopping doing something frequently. To keep going, to keep going, to keep going. Leads to results. It's true of martial arts, it's true of business, it's true of relationships, it's true of everything. Don't stop, right? Success at anything will always come down to this, focus and effort, and we control both. Dwayne Johnson, AKA The Rock. Focus and effort. Focus and frequency and persistence, they're all kind of related, right? If you're not focused on the things that are most important to reach your goals, you're going to be doing other things, which means you're not going to be applying frequency. They're all, all kind of related. I've mentioned this one before, and it's something I'll, I'll mention again. I have no financial relationship with this company. Brain FM, brain.fm. It's a great thing that I, I use to stay focused when I'm at my computer. Check it out. It's like six ninety five a month. It's awesome. Totally worth it. There's cat hair. There's cat hair in my beard. I can feel it. I heard somebody on a podcast predicting that The Rock would be president in a few terms. I could see it. I could see it. I mean, the man's done well at pretty much everything he's done. I don't know that he would want to be president. I'm not saying he would be a good president, but I suspect if he wanted to be, he could, he could win that. People study martial arts for many reasons, sometimes all the wrong reasons. For example, I have had potential students come to my dojo with a belligerent and cocky attitude. When I ask why they want to study my art, their response is indicated to me that their goal is to learn to fight, which is the antithesis of the philosophy I hope to instill. I want them to know how to defend themselves if necessary, but to avoid fighting whenever possible because they will have nothing to prove by fighting. Chuck Norris. 
yet another accepted expert master saying martial arts is not about fighting. Learning how to avoid a fight, de-escalate, all that. At some point, you know, I was thinking yesterday, and, and I continue to think about this, how do we how do we generate more video content? And not just video for the sake of video, but video of the things that I think people would appreciate. There are a lot of things that I can teach. And yes, we're starting with these, these strength, speed, fight training programs, because they're, they're universal, they're universal principles. Nobody's martial art gets worse when they get stronger. Nobody's martial arts gets worse. Oh, I was sitting on your tail, sorry. Nobody's martial arts gets worse as they get faster, or nobody steps into a fight and says, you know, I wish I wasn't so well conditioned, right? These are universal. And because Whistle Kick is about unifying and, and bridging gaps, I have to be really careful about the things that we say and we do, because I want people to feel like, martial, like Whistle Kick is a martial arts brand and that whatever they style, whatever style they study fits within that. So if I say, this is how you throw a sidekick, there will be people who say, no, that's not how you throw a sidekick. But within that, I could say, here are the different ways that I know to throw a sidekick and here are some of the things that you can do to improve each one. doesn't mean that one of them's right, one of them's wrong. It means here are things that I know. And one of the things that I've considered is around self-defense and, and putting together some of the basic principles in a training on self-defense. I'm still not sure that's a good use of our time. I know it would get us a ton of hate because whenever you do anything on self-defense, people say, but what if, but what if, but what if? In fact, most of self-defense training is based around what if. And where it goes wrong is it focuses on the things that happen the least often. Today we're going to learn gun defense. Okay. How about, how about we learn how to physically de-escalate something be, so the next time you're at a bar and somebody's drunk, your options aren't to leave or get punched in the face. There's just it's too much of that out there. So it's refreshing to see, well, it's not refreshing because I've never thought otherwise. It's nice to see quotes from famous and experienced martial artists sharing, sharing this view. Martial arts isn't about fighting. It's never been about fighting. I shouldn't say never. Fight only after creating conditions for victory. Toyotomi. Hideyoshi. Fight only after creating conditions for victory. Hmm, what does that mean? My initial reaction is that that has to do with uh, planned fights, but I don't, I'm, I'm just guessing that that's not what it's intended for. I think I would look at this as setting yourself up with good stances, uh, good range, back to the wall, right? You do, if it becomes a self-defense situation, you, you do what you can to give yourself the best chance. Of course, you could apply that, that logic to anything. It could be a, a um, figurative fight. You know, fighting with your business. Fighting, I don't want to say in a, in a relationship or a friendship, because 
the idea of it being combative is unhealthy. You prepare, you, you evaluate, you set yourself up for an advantage. You take, you take the benefit where it is. That's a tough quote. If I was more awake, that one would be a little easier. I can feel, I can feel the wheels trying to turn. I see the, the prosthodontist next Monday, my tooth. Today's the last day of my antibiotics and I'm pretty sure the infection's gone, but I don't know. There's still weird stuff going on in my tooth. That's bumming me out. That's been a big part of my focus over the last couple of weeks and it's been hard to not be distracted by that, to be honest. Are you coming back? Cat's back. If you're watching, you can see her a little bit. No, I don't want you laying behind me. I keep trying that. It doesn't work for me. <sighs> all right. Can you hear the rain? It's going to rain all day. Plants are going to be really happy about it. Everything is, is starting to go, starting to pop. I love growing food. Say hi. There's a cat. All right. I'm going to go. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for, thanks to Frank for writing in some quotes for me to respond to. If you have questions, quotes, comments, situations, stuff that you want me to talk about, write in. Um, yeah, I feel foggy. When did I go to bed? 10.30? So a little later than normal for me. Oh well. Thanks for joining me. We do the show every weekday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern here on YouTube. Catch it later as a podcast. And if you want to support us, it's Patreon or make a purchase at whistlecake.com. Of course, you could also... Like, comment, share, follow, all those good things. We're all over the place. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Peace.